So today we have JavaScript time sees. So that just means it's JavaScript time. Um, and for today, uh, we have a lot of different JavaScript uh, topics that we have to cover. And they're going to be pretty hardcore, so I want you guys to really pay attention. Um, today we're going to go over some switch statement stuff. Then we're going to go into if-else chains. Uh, then we're going to get a returning Boolean uh, values, building JavaScript objects, accessing those objects and changing them. Um, and just different ways of using objects and switches. So a couple of topics, but a couple of big topics. Um, so let's start off with selecting from many options with switch statements. So you guys have used if else statements so far, um, but you guys haven't gone into what switch statements are. Now switch statements are basically like if else statements, um, except that uh, they're easier to use when you have a lot of different cases. Oh, yeah. Can you guys not see it? You can't see that, right? All right. All right, cool. Thank you. Yeah, both, probably. Um, so an if-else statement looks something like if this, you know, uh, console.log. Hey Arnold. Else if uh, let's see val val equals two. Something like that. And if else statements, uh, they look like, okay, if this if this value is equal to 1, then do this. Else if it's 2, then do this. Else if it's 3, then do this. Else, do this. Now, uh, switch statements are very similar. Um, so if you have a switch statement, you say switch. But then you just put the variable in here. So you say val. And let me make sure I have the syntax correct. Yeah, okay. Case. So the same thing would look like this on the bottom over here. Now, it's actually up to you how you guys want to use them. Um, but essentially, they can be easier to use um, if you use them right. So I'm just doing this. Do case 4 or default case. And they work almost exactly the same way as if-else. So switch is, OK, if the value is case 1, then do this. Case 2, case equals, that means is, if value is equal to 1, then do this. If value is equal to 2, do this. If value equals 3, do this. And we can even change this up. Equals, you know, yes, you know, no, maybe. And this might actually make it easier. So this is just another way of doing it. 
Uh, personally, I actually don't like using switches as much. Um, it's just a personal choice for you guys. Um, I heard that if all statements are actually faster too. So I'm not really sure when people use switch statements uh, in that case. But if you did want to use it and they're asking you to use it um, and it exists in all programming languages, then you use it like this. So again, uh, the switch statements, they have an equivalent in the if else statement. So if you have if val equals yes. So in this case, you start off with what the variable is. So you just write the variable once instead of having to write the variable over and over and over. So um, maybe if the variable is really long, I could save some code. At the end of each case, uh, you have to do a break. Otherwise, it will run both. So if I took this out, it will do console.log hey Arnold and it'll do console.log hey not Arnold. So even though it found it, then it's going to be like, okay, uh, now do I just keep going? If you put a break, then it'll be like, okay, no, I don't keep going. But whatever it finds the case and there's not a break, it's just going to keep going to the next one, next one, next one, and keep running the code within that. You guys get that part? So if I took out the break here and the uh, val was equal to no, what would be printed out to the console? No. So if var val e is equal to no, what would get printed out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, who are you? Exactly. So let's test that out. And hey, not Arnold. Ooh, it should have printed out this hey, who are you? But it didn't print it out. Ah, because it's a break right here, right? Now let's see. Hey, not Arnold, who are you? And this dot, dot, dot. So if I put a break here. Would it print the dot, dot, dot? Exactly. OK. So now it's going to be, hey, not Arnold, and who are you? Now if I put a break here, what is it going to say? Hey, Arnold? Hey, not Arnold. Yep. So it, now it's just going to print out. Hey, not Arnold. Exactly. So it found this case, and it says, OK, so now I'm going to run this code. And then I'm going to stop because I have this break here. So it's not going to run anything else. If I took this out, then it's going to run this one, and it's going to run the next one until it hits a break. Cool. All right. Uh, so the default is the equivalent of what? Else. It's the same thing as the else, exact same thing. If it doesn't find any of these cases, then it goes to the default, and that's it. So because you guys understand how if else statements work, you now know how switch statements work. Same thing. OK? Same thing. All right. Now, there's multiple identical options in switch statements. So let's say that you wanted to have a range. So um, let's say that you wanted to do the non-break thing uh, that we came up with on purpose. So if the answer is 1, 2, and 3, then you want the result to say, welcome to daycare. I hope you brought diapers. So let's say 1, 2, and 3 are the age. So anything between the ages of 1 to 3, let me increase the size. I like how it's decreasing in size for no reason. I hate this thing. Can I just play it? Present. There we go.
You still won't let me zoom in? Okay. Thank you. You piece of crap. All right, can you guys see it though? Yeah. All right, so case one, case two, and case three. These are both answers to what age could be. So if someone put an age of one, two, or three, you'd still get the result equals welcome to daycare. I hope you brought diapers. And then it does a break. Case four and five, result is equal to welcome to preschool. Please potty train your kids. Then break. Case six and seven, welcome to kindergarten. No, Timmy, you can't eat the hamster. Break. Okay? So if I had an age equal to six, what would I get? Yeah, okay, excellent. Uh, what if I had age equals two? Exactly. Excellent. So does everyone understand how um, these switch statements work? Right? And if else statements, if you guys had to do this, what would you have to do? Exactly. So if, exactly. So if you wanted to do this in, well, if it finally loads. So this, and I'm just going to save this as a JavaScript file just so I can see the syntax. So if I wanted to see this in if else statements, so can you guys give it to me? Or is age? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So greater than or equal to one. Mm -hmm. In there you still put it, but less than mm -hmm. three, right? So and age is less than and equal to three. Right, exactly. And then I would do result equals. Right, and we're assuming that var age and result have been declared. OK. Um, good. Now, let's see. As else if uh, age is greater than or equal to 4, and age is less than or equal to 5, yep. Exactly. Are you guys following along so far? So he's in, David? Yeah? All right. Um, and then oh, we can actually just put, yeah, no. Well, this does require. So age. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. So this is the if-else version. Again, I prefer if-else. Some people prefer switch. Up to you. Yeah. Yeah. But let's say that you're using, um, instead of one, two, and three, it's like hamburger, yeah. cheeseburger, Yeah, fries. It would be that's pretty unhealthy. So then, how would I do that in in this? So put val. So I put if val is equal to hamburger, and or actually this would be. Or, yeah. 
val equal to cheeseburger. So this is the way where it looks actually more confusing in a, a if else statement, right? When you have words like strings that are crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So th this is why people sometimes like switch statements better. So I'd have to do this. Yeah. So it depends on what you have. If you have a lot of values that are like this, then you're going to be like, oh, okay, now I'm just going to use a switch statement because this is stupid. Right? So now this looks cleaner, right? You're just like, oh, fries, hamburger, cheese, it's any one of those, then, okay, that's pretty unhealthy instead of this giant string. So, again, up to you guys. And again, just replacing elf is, uh, if else change with the switch. So they're just mentioning like how you can change uh, an if else statement into a switch and what the uh, differences are. Same thing, though. All right. So now I want you guys to just get in one group. So, Steven, you're going to be with uh, Swayzen and David. Uh, and you guys are explaining the, uh, the concepts we just went over. And you guys are going to create a switch statement with the default inside your project. So I want you guys to do that right now.